With some people still not happy with Hideo Kojima's decisions behind Metal Gear Solid 2, it took guts to make another video game starring the character Raiden. Alas, that's exactly what Platinum Games and Kojima Productions have done with Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. With Solid Snake nowhere in sight, can this game live up to the Metal Gear expectations or does it come off as a cheap cash-in on the brand? Revengeance is a combo-based action game, with the occasional stealth mission thrown in. Raiden is a cyber ninja of sorts, and with that comes a plethora of crazy moves to spring on the bad guys. The gameplay here is fairly shallow, but almost always entertaining and fulfilling. Stringing together combos while dodging attacks is the name of the game. Revengeance introduces a mechanic called Blade Mode, which basically adds a bullet time slowdown effect while giving the player control over Raiden's lightning sword. It's a really cool effect, especially when you use the Blade Mode as a finishing move called Zandatsu. It's basically slicing precise areas of a downed baddie and ripping out their spine for more power. Ugh. For an action game, the way it plays is often the number one priority, and with Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, it's the gameplay that constantly shines. Despite its drastic change in gameplay, Revengeance attempts to be a Metal Gear game through and through. Not only does it star a well-known character from the series, but it also features the franchise's trademark, semi-nonsensical soapbox-style plot. Taking place shortly after the events of Metal Gear Solid 4, Revengeance follows Raiden as he slices and dices his way across the globe in order to stop evil politicians from harvesting children's brains to create super soldiers. The story is ludicrous, never meant to be taken seriously, and all too often the dialogue is so jarring it induces cringing, laughter, or both at the same time. What do you want with the Prime Minister? I want him dead. Nothing personal, of course. The game is certainly violent, with blood and oil and other such fluids spraying everywhere all the time which makes some of the game anti-violence agenda a bit perplexing. Fans of the Metal Gear series might be left wondering, is any of this necessary? Does it add to the franchise fiction in any meaningful way? And for those who couldn't care less about Raiden and aren't story completionists, Revengeance really won't do much for Metal Gear fans. Making a game attached to the Metal Gear property is a risky move, especially if Snake is nowhere to be found. A part of me wishes this game had a completely different title because the constant comparison to the other Metal Gear games feels somewhat unfair. Unfortunately, Revengeance just doesn't hold up to the high standard that the name invokes. Revengeance is a short game. There's no way around it. The main plotline lasts for about five hours. There are also additional VR missions to complete if you so desire. What's nice about the short length is that Revengeance doesn't overstay its welcome. It introduces a couple of cool boss fights and a few neat locations, but after finishing the game, you're not really clamoring for more. But for those who do want to dive back in, there's plenty of replayability here. Throughout the game, you're scored on your performance, and that score determines how many points you'll get at the end of the level. The player can then go on to buy various items and change everything from Raiden's appearance to his weapons. It'll take several playthroughs to unlock everything the game has to offer. For those who are addicted to Steam achievements, there's a whopping 60 here to collect, some of which are so hard they are only for the most serious Revengeance enthusiasts. At $30, the game might be a tad on the expensive side, but I would argue that 15 to 20 would be a fair price. Overall, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance is a decent game. While it definitely doesn't live up to the quality of the Metal Gear Solid franchise, I would argue that it is just as good, if not better than, some of the other franchise spin-offs Konami has previously attempted. Revengeance offers a decent amount of fun, albeit for a short period of time. As long as you don't get too aggravated with terrible story and dialogue, this game is probably worth adding to your collection. 
dance. 